Hey guys, it's Mary here and welcome back to my channel for a different kind of video and you guys know if you've been here for quite a long time that I love playing games that I love I guess and I enjoy. So today it's going to be an app game and this game is called Food Street. For those who don't know what Food Street is, where have you been? What's good? <laughs> like, okay, um, Food Street is basically a worldwide interactive game where you run your own cafe restaurant or bakery or in this one space so um I've, as you can see i've been playing this game for a very very long time and um actually not really but i'm level 43 i've been playing this game since around september of 2016 this game was released in august of 2015 so some people have been playing it longer than i have and they're like level 80 something 90 you know i think the highest percent i've seen on here is like level um 90 i think i saw it on the market so i'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what everything is so um i'm not exactly sure on everything in the game because i'm just fairly new but i do know the basics i guess so when you start the game you have like a little restaurant thing here which is not normally this big obviously you have to get coins and get certain things to be able to expand your restaurant but you get like normally just an average size stuff and all that kind of stuff so first thing, let me just show you what's over here so this is this little hut thing here uh, which is a little trailer park looking thing here. That's what you use um, for your community events, which happens at least once a year from what I have been told or once every six months um, and involves everyone in the community worldwide, everything like that. And this thing here where all these people are is where you get the world food events, which happens every month and it's like a different theme this one is the adventure awaits and when the event starts it'll give you a certain day the event is for 10 days we aren't playing yet every time the event starts you get a certain orders to complete and you can either complete it or delete it and then get a much better order the and then you have this little bar thing on the top where um obviously when you complete orders it fills the bar and then when you get to each box it opens up something new it could be tokens vouchers coins gems anything like that and xp as well and then you just you know keep completing orders until you rank up in your you know scoreboard and everything like that and then you get ranked with other people who are playing uh, so that's basically the that so you can just like get all these things my my storage is full so i can't add anything else hence why there's a, there's a food are laying around but also you see these little people interacting and cooking and stuff so that's also really really cool and um obviously um every time you fill up the bar it goes to like level one level two level three and it keeps obviously the more orders you complete the more the bar fills and the more stuff you get and every time you get to a different tier you get to unlock these things here unlock the milestones and stuff and you can add tokens to increase your points in the food event if that makes sense and also um you get to unlock a different slot so you can cook more stuff and um and if you run out of space you can give it to this girl and she can convert it for you like that so she'll be there like dancing around um completing everything for you basically so that's what she does for you to take part in a food event you're gonna have to be in a food club and i'm in a food club called karma eats and it's with everyone here so some people would need help so these red ticks i'll get to it in a minute um some people need help and everything like that so that's everyone in the club and yeah we talk and everything like that through this chat here we um share you know stuff with each other we ask for each other for help with trucks we can request food and other items in the game or tokens and stuff and here this little message box thing is when you apply for a club and then it will tell you here if you've been accepted or declined and that's basically how it works um over here is this little tent thing here it's like a little um wizard tent thing but basically you go in here and you can use the blue vouchers which is the ones at the top here to buy um stuff so you can buy tokens to help you in the event and when you buy it it comes up with a little crate here like that and then collect reward and then yeah you add that to your token chest and right now i have quite a lot of tokens because i had quite a lot of tickets but also i had loads of yellow tokens this yellow ones here um for quite a long time for the past like three or four events because i just i can't get rid of them because not a lot of stuff needs them and they're quite common so that's why i still have them this little guy here that's uh, reporting whatever's going on around here is for the chef challenge this chef challenge happens every single week and you play yourself against our people in a team and you get ranked with our people 
I have just started playing so right now I am second and I'm trying to get to first and the event lasts for roughly a week I believe and then it starts again 24 hours after it ends and basically you just complete all these things here uh, they ask you to do and these things are around different areas if you have no idea what it is you click on it it will tell you what it is and then you click on the blue question mark and it will take you to exactly where it needs to be completed and then it will, it will tell you what exactly what to do from there and again with say here it needs seaweed from a fisherman boat and you only get a fisherman boat i think when you're level 30 and above so when you go here it tells you oh yeah you need to collect seaweed from here and then with the uh complete takeout orders you click on it and it'll take you to someone who has a little icon on your head asking for certain ingredients or certain things and then you either click on them to uh, to to say yeah i agree or decline or please wait so i'm gonna say please wait because i have this little um coffee bean tree so i can just use that and i can just take some from there and i can go to her and say yeah i accept and there you go i have completed the order and I, it gives me more points and then the more points i get the more rank i go up in the bar up here and yeah that's the basis of how it works. The Chef Challenge is a weekly timed event when you complete special tasks to earn challenge points. You can also earn challenge points by simply spinning the daily reward wheel and completing any normal orders or event orders. Reach the second Chef Challenge milestone to be matched with other players to be guaranteed a special prize at the end of the challenge. The higher you rank, the better your final prize. So obviously if you double click or yeah, double click in the box, it'll show you what the price is. So you get five gems and 10 vouchers. The blue vouchers are very, very valuable for when it comes to events. So I'm, much, I'm trying to get as much as I can. And then obviously second place, you get two gems and six vouchers. And then, yeah, and it just keeps going, keeps going. Yeah, so that's really it. So up to 10 people in here. It lasts, obviously what's left is only three days, but it lasts for a week. So I didn't start till this morning because I was really busy with work for the past few days. So I'm not, I didn't play at all. But yeah, the Chef Challenge pretty cool. It's really fun to have to do things on your own. And um, you have this other random class I walk past, which you don't have to click on. It's just other people's cafes and everything like that, which I don't really want to go to. And th this is the um, Fisherman's Lighthouse, which is where you can fish. But it's only level 30 and above. This is the daily spin wheel. I've already spinned it, but I'll show you how it works. You just, obviously I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna use the gem to spin it again, but I don't really need to. Normally when it resets every 24 hours, so when it resets, you just have to just spin your screen and then it will spin. So let's just go spin again, tap to confirm and then spin the wheel and there you go. It spins and you get something cool like sauce, um, ingredients, random stuff, you get a lot you get quite a few things so yeah i've got carrots which is easy to make so i, I wasn't really looking forward to that this thing over here is where you customize your characters or your staff members that are in your restaurant and you can add loads of new clothes to them which buy you can buy using um coins vouchers or gems and that's really it i don't really do this much but they're wearing the the um, rabbit ears from the previous event so that's re basically what it is this little advertisement board it's kind of glitched so all it does is just, it's like you normally before you used to play an ad but due to the recent updates it, it doesn't play the ad anymore and because it caused people to crash so they just you just click on it and you get open it and you get a reward or a certain thing that's really it and it resets every single hour this little man here is the truck man who is ultimate bay look how cute he looks look how freaking adorable he looks yeah he is a truck guy that helps us out with like to earn vouchers which is the bronze ones the bronze one over here which says 25 and also the silver vouchers so uh, right now my truck is a bronze which shows here at the bottom and these are things i needed i needed like um loads of onions which i already completed and i need one more onion to complete this one which you can grow in your garden plot over here which is already completed now and then i had um some burgers up here and then i have to complete pastry which i can do just right now so that one's completed and then it gives me some chef points as well and then i just wanted to do some make more pastries which can be done over the bread oven and then i am done but i need some more butter to do that which is done through here i've got some butter now and i can go ahead and put some pastries on and it will take half an hour real time all these times that it has on it is real time so you can't fast forward your 
time on your iPad or your phone to make it faster, it will not work. You will screw yourself up because it will add more time to what you already have. So the best thing to do is just to wait till it is ready to go, you know, and that's really it. And all these things I have in my restaurant, you can buy it through this little paintbrush thing over here. So every time you, um, obviously it has levels on it. So this is level 47, 47 I get a deep fryer, a tapas bar, you know, as you increase the levels, the more stuff you get basically. But these cost so much coins and I don't have a lot, but I, you can make coins by selling it on the market, which I'll show you what that is in a minute. So these are the things that you basically need. The things at the top here are the ones that you need to create stuff. But um, yeah, I'm trying to save up money for the drinks bar, which is this one here. Um, I'm trying to save up money, but I don't have enough yet. And then the second layer is the chicken or the farming stuff. So you can buy apple trees for 35 coins each. And then every time yeah, you can buy uh, strawberry bushes, um, blueberry bushes, lemon trees, coconut trees, pineapple trees. Some trees take longer to grow and to respawn or refresh the berries or the fruit or something like that because they are because they cost more but also in real time they're actually quite long anyway so for example i have let's say this one here the strawberry bush it takes well it didn't it doesn't take 24 hours but let's say it will take 10 hours or 12 hours to refresh for a new bunch of fruit to come up and same thing as the cocoa bean bush um like right now there it's dead right now and you can either ask for help or destroy it using a glove i don't want to destroy it because i can refresh it so i'll just ask for help but when it's completely done with the two refreshes that you get you have to get rid of it you can only get rid of it when you have the gloves or for the trees saws and the saws that are quite common you can get it from regular farming in your area from this little advert thing over here or you can find it on the market or trade it with your friends. So that's where you can basically get saws and gloves from. Over here is my pantry, which is where it stores all the ingredients, the gloves, the saws, the things they need to upgrade your restaurant and fruits and vegetables. And if you want to increase storage, it will tell you how much stuff you need, which are which tells you where it drops and everything like that. And you can get saws and everything like that. Or you can use gems to upgrade it. I don't want to use that much gems because gems actually cost... Um, real life money so you have to pay real money for the stuff and normally i do buy the 14.99 one but i'm not going to and then i don't buy coins because it's just a waste and that's really it and then you just use these little machines to make stuff and it will tell you what ingredients you have and what you don't have the ones that are red are the ones that you don't have and the ones that are green are the ones that you do have so that's basically it just make lots of random things it is all these are all real time so it takes quite a while that's why every single time that i have ingredients that are hard to make for example ice cream it takes three hours real time but every single time that i am asleep i always put loads of loads of ice cream on and then let it cook overnight so that by the time i wake up it'll be ready and that kind of stuff so every time i have a long day at work i'll put it on and then by the time i get home from work it's ready and sorted so it just it saves me time same thing as these little cakes here this one takes five hours and 20 minutes i put it on when i'm asleep by the time i get up it's ready some people will see these stars these stars are only available when you are level 40 and above that's when you get the mastery thing where you can earn certain stars so right now i'm only one star on this item but on different items i'm on two stars or three stars so for example with the cow shed i am on two stars and i'm 2051 more points away from three star so that's quite a lot of point i think you get one point per item you make so it's quite a long way to go and what else can i show you oh yeah oh my name don't worry about that don't worry about it don't worry about it okay and over here we have the little sign and this um well these little trophies things this trophies is what you get when you take part in the food event which is what i showed you earlier um with your team and obviously your team has to um once you reach five thousand points your team is matched with other teams who are roughly around the same points and then you be competing with each other to try to get the first second or third this this first is gold obviously second is silver and third is bronze and I've, we've got um second place for all three events um i've been in this team for the past two events in 2017 which is these two so we've got silver last event was really hard because we matched with really really high team players and it was hard to do and um, all these decoration stuff that are really, really different come with different events. Like this one here was a Valentine's Day event and that is all like pinky, love heart, you know, cute stuff and everything like that. You've got functional items here where people actually sit in and do it. 
and play and everything like that and that refreshes every couple of hours and we have the oscars theme event which was really cool as well i have some decoration left over from the i think the bengal or like it's like an asian theme event as well which was beautiful it, the color scheme was amazing and then this one over here is the easter event which is where you have the zebra here look got zebra here from this current event right now which i haven't decorated for but i'll decorate in the next few episodes um i'm gonna reach i'm gonna feed my animal i'm gonna feed him one cabbage and then there you go he's off on his little trot doing his own thing and i have other animals over here as well which i've already been refreshed so you can say it'll tell you how many hours left before it, it was it needs to be refreshed again and these use items such as pancakes uh cornbread tomatoes wheat milk and you know that, that's kind of stuff and then yeah these are my crops thing here you buy these as you go along into different levels and everything like that um another person's offer takeaway let me see what he needs nope i, I don't need that i'm gonna decline it and um that's basically the basic oh yeah let me just finish this off over here this little thing over here is the news event so it just every time you log in it shows you this anyway so it just tells you what's going on right now like the latest news the latest events or what's going on you know just tells you what's happening so look this is the event that's going on right now the adventure awaits event is 10 days long which is quite a long event but we're quite busy right now so we ain't starting it yet until later on and yeah so that's really it and then this thing here where this girl is like screaming and everything like that is the market and when you click on it it opens it up and here you have your current market anyway every time you start the game you get only stella which is the creator of the game which is just a random market and gives you free stuff every 24 hours so every time it's 24 hours it will reset and give you new fresh things and you just buy it so it's only you that will get it <laughs> Uh, there won't be anyone else they'll get it at around the same time as you so so basically they can't buy it from you but everyone else has this person and they can buy free stuff from them and um my trades every time you start you only get three boxes and then you can use gems to upgrade to more boxes like so uh, click on it to create sale and you can pick things from your pantry that you want to sell if your pantry is full or you just want to make money or you pick things from your fridge to sell if your fridge is full or you just want to make money i basically don't sell things that are hard to make for example the um apple crumble which takes ice cream which takes three hours to make and apple crumble itself takes butter and other ingredients and also it takes two and a half hours to make so i don't sell them because they are hard to make same thing as the detox juice and the berry juice because it takes ice cream and this one takes lemon and blueberry which are hard to get as well and um i sell things that are easy to get such as cornbread which are very easy to make um milk um tomato soup which are very easy to make cheese and chicken or eggs i sell those kind of things or bread because they're so easy to make but they're quite low in price because they don't really cost a lot so i'll show you for example let me just go ahead and sell let's say this hook from my fishing place add more price to it and then put it for sale so someone will come around and buy it eventually but since it, the event is on it will be quite um, fast to be sold so these people here that have the little logo on them those are the people in my team the ones that don't have a logo on them are the people that i have on facebook which are just you know that will just appear on my market so it will be obvious when they don't have a logo on them is those who i have on facebook that don't appear in my normal events such as her as well and also hit her and him so yeah so that's really it. a little red tick like red hand thing that shows that someone needs help so for example when other people see my name it'll come up with a red tick because either i have a tree that needs to be revived such as this one or a truck that needs to be filled such as this and obviously every time you have a truck you get two hands to fill but i've already used my first hand up here which i already completed myself but anyway so when someone needs help if, if i see in a chat or see look someone's just bought my hook so i just tap on it and i get the coins yeah so when someone needs help and it comes up with a red hand on them right now she doesn't need help anymore because she's already solved her issue but um you just go to visit their restaurant and so she wanted a revive which is where her trees or her bush was dead so she wanted help with them so you just click on it and it will complete it for you so as you can see someone has already beat me to it so yeah that's really it so you look at our people's restaurants what our people have earned and everything like that and uh, when you go to the market you can it refreshes every 10 minutes 
So you see what our people were sold worldwide. You could, you could talk to people worldwide in your team because I have people who are in America, I have people who are in Egypt, you know, those kind of things, Australia, New Zealand, you know, like it's crazy. And you go visit the restaurant, you can help them out if you want to because when you help them out, you fill out your help bar. So you're basically helping yourself and helping our people. So either way, both of you win really. So here she has a hand open for a truck. So you just look at it, she needs two of these, but I only have one, so I'm not gonna complete it because I have to use gems to complete it, so I can't really complete it anyway. And you can either offer to help him, so you might have to start working on that, or you cannot, it's up to you. And you can look around other people's restaurants and see what kind of design they have, or what kind of things they have like this. It's so pretty, it's really, really cute. And um, you can see she's got some trophies from her team. And her team is over here playing the event, as you can see there, it's really cute. And you can click on the little tent thing here, and you can see their team. Their team aren't in English, but you can see who are in their team and what kind of uh, trophies, how many trophies they've had. But that's really it, you can't really see anything else apart from that. You can't really see how many points they have or nothing like that, unless you get matched with them. But that's really it. So that's the bit, you can see how beautiful their uh, restaurant looks. It looks gorgeous, I love her design, it's really cute. And yeah, and then as you can see, someone has revived my bush, which is my friend Heather from our team. Uh, she's revived it. So when she revives my bush, all I go ahead in the chat and I say thank you because it's good to be nice, you know? And you put a smiley face because unfortunately here, you can't put like emojis or anything like that. So you just have to put smiley faces or anything like that. So I just say that and then she'll, she'll either reply or anything like that. And then here is where you complete um, orders or you can send away orders. Like for this one, I can't complete this. So I'm just gonna send it away. And then I can't complete that either. So I'll send that away. I can complete that easily. I can complete this, but I don't want to do it yet until a chef challenge order comes up for me to complete sh uh, chef orders so i'm just gonna leave it for now so right now i'm gonna complete another order so let me just go ahead and collect this so that's two done and i'm gonna go ahead and put one more on and i'll be done in half an hour and i'm gonna finish that i've got another seaweed so that's one out of six so i'm getting that slowly i have three hours left these are actually real time so i have three hours and 44 minutes to complete this challenge um with this task if not it will just go away and refresh with a new one so that's basically it but if you decline a task it will take half an hour for you to get a new task so it's up to you if you want to decline it or not it's really up to you but i think that's the basics i've talked about in this video i'm not really sure what else to say um let me show you a bit more about um oh, well this little arrow thing here is where you click on it and you go straight to the market so it's just a faster way to get to the market without you actually going to the tent and then this bit here this little friend smiley face thing is where you can see your friends in on your friend list and you just go to them easily there just click on your name and it goes straight to them and that's really it and then this little paintbrush like i said before is where you get decorative items so you get things like tables to put down where people can eat on um doors for events and everything like that or normal doors that uh, have been just put in a game anyway and you get um windows for events and normal ones and you get um buildings or well, walls so you can decorate up your restaurant however you want to get hedges get fence posts you know those kind of things you can decorate it however you want and then here you get um this little decoration bits you can get functional items and rocks and everything like that you can get like you know barrels haystacks bins benches fountains if you want to be all fancy and stuff lights bushes plants you know you get a lot of stuff from this section as well and you get things that you've had you have purchased in the previous event such as this i purchased these things in the previous event so these are now in my inventory and then over here and then you got you have like the decoration or miscellaneous items where you can get more stuff for events like this or just other stuff that you've got in your inventory such, such as trophies and other things like that or just more random decoration stuff to make your house your restaurant look more homely and some things cost coins some things cost gems and some things cost vouchers um and the next version is where it has a little dog face which is where you get pets these are functional pets which you pay for or functional items which are such as like environments or something like that that you pay for and these cost either gems vouchers or something else so as you can see there's loads of functional items i have got the calico cat 
I've got the Blondie Prom Maid. I don't know how you say that, sorry. I've got the Golden Chihuahua. I've got also the Pug. And I have got a Dalmatian, if it's still here. I don't know. I've got a, I've got, I've got a Bengal elephant, uh, which one has a little patterns on them. And I, I bought a fish aquarium, which is now in my inventory. And what else have I got? Uh, I don't know. I've got um, a Dalmatian, which is no longer in the market anymore. So obviously it only happened during certain events and everything like that. So you can buy them then. And um, I've got a white tiger, which is from a previous event as well. And I got a rabbit from the previous event, which is in this little little basket thing here. And then I got a zebra from this event. So you get different things. And also I am a VIP, which is I spend my hard earned money on this game. So you get after a certain threshold, you get given a VIP statue to put in your restaurant to show people like, you know, you, how devoted you are to the game and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of cool. I like it. It's like a little reward to kind of say thank you for buying stuff. And that's really it. I don't know what else to say. I might do like random tips and tricks videos on this game and I'll just show you how I play the, um, the event and stuff like that. But yeah, I will, I will definitely be enjoying playing this. Look, it's my little pug sitting there watching the pineapple tree. Look how cute it is. <laughs> so cute and then I have little easter eggs from the previous event still here and I have my zebra running around and then I have my little dog running around my little cat tiger looking thing running around as well so all these pets run around and collect coins for you so that you can get coins faster without having to sell stuff but unfortunately they reset like every 12 hours or every 24 hours or every 8 hours so it takes real time we have a community event coming up uh, after this event and then it's gonna be cool so I'm gonna show you guys that so I'm really, really excited and I think my friend Heather just replied there you guys saying you're welcome thank you so that's really it a little niceness goes a long way I love this team I've been with this team for the past three four events and I really enjoy it so I really am loyal to this team and I really really love it like everyone is lovely we talk personally and everything like that everyone's chilled like I love it that's the basics of the game if you guys are interested in getting the game don't worry I'm, I'm not sponsored by super solid um I wish I was <laughs> but I'm not uh, I just love this game so much and uh, I think you guys should definitely play it. It's free on Android and um, iPhones and everything like that and yeah it's it's so cool like I love this game so so much and it would be cool to see you guys play it and post me pictures or something like that. Tweet me stuff like it's pretty cool like I love this game so much. I play hours upon hours a day. Um, okay let me just tell you quickly before I go what the vouchers are about. So the gold one there which says number eight is it's very, very rare. You get it only in events. The silver ones, you get it in silver trucks and also events and also chests. The bronze ones, you get in truck, chests and also in events and those kind of things. Chef challenge, you know, those kind of stuff. The blue vouchers, you can only get it in chest and chef challenge. So that is it. That's basically the rundown of how the whole game works. And I hope you guys want to enjoy me playing this thing so let me just complete an order quickly so i'll show you guys how it works so let me just collect that i'm gonna replant some more tomatoes because i need them so let me just get the carrots replant some carrots get some cabbage and i'm gonna replant i got some sugar going uh i need to replant some i, I want to do cabbage because it takes quite a long time to do garlic so let me do cabbage and I'm gonna take this rice. These all take real time. So as you can see, some of them are like four hours, three hours. So I'm gonna replant some more rice, which takes three hours to cook. So it's crazy. Look how long that, that takes. That's just, that's madness. But yeah, so that's the basis of the game. Like the game is just goals. I love it. Like it just, oh, I just love it so much. Just get stuff done. I'm always like in, out, in, out, trying to get orders done, trying to stock up on stuff. You know, make sure I get everything that I need and that is basically it now i can complete this little uh box in the food truck and then i've got more chef points xp and coins now all, all i need to do is to complete this pastry this order for pastry and then i am done for good with a truck i can complete the truck and then i'll get a voucher coins and more xp that is the basics of it oh look my little elephant from the previous event look how cute he is uh, He's so beautiful, I love him. Oh look, my friend has just completed my truck for me and now it's good to go. So, yep, yes. <laughs> 
I completed my order so now I can collect the rewards and there you go the truck is on its way look at him look at drive off yes <laughs> So that's basically it. That's how it works. This game is lovely. I, I enjoy it so much. And I hope to see you guys enjoying it too. So thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. It really does mean a lot. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.